major takeaway is the strategic role that the solar power can play in the South African context, particularly during this time when we are facing energy challenges. One of the sectors that consumes a lot of energy is the households. Um, it is important that we get the households mainly to generate electricity through the solar PV. The storage as well is developed. I've gone through the exhibition and seen that there is so much development and actually um, much as, uh, storage batteries uh, and inverters that are now being manufactured, which are very good, which are reliable, that can be combined with solar PV to power the homes, to power the uh, facilities such as your malls and your banks, the service industry, which is one of the major contributors to the South African economy, it can immediately be supported by the solar PV and the battery storage to make sure that the South African economy continues to run and it also creates much needed uh, opportunities for SMMEs. We have uh, in the country allowed that 100 megawatts can be generated without uh, any lot of red tapes, minimum licensing. So it means that we can have rooftop, uh, a solar rooftop, we can have uh, uh, banks, uh, uh, service industry generating its own electricity, the shopping malls, the estates, and we can immediately get a lot uh, of uh, 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 institutions, homes, uh, and industries off the grid and make sure that we provide the much needed energy to bigger industrial sectors that are commercial that cannot immediately go get off the grid. So it's possible this conference has highlighted that importance and it is something that can be immediately deployed to assist the country to alleviate its energy challenges. The beauty is also that this problem is uh, prevailing in the whole of the Sadak region and uh, the technologies can be deployed regionally and I'm glad I noticed that some of these companies are already manufacturing locally which means we can immediately increase our production capacity market the products into the region and also create the critical mass that are required by the manufacturing sectors to make sure that they become sustainable in Africa and in Southern Africa in particular. Um, the, as far as the women in energy is concerned, the minister has uh, actually been responsible for putting up a, a team of women that are at the advisory team and she has actually requested the advisory team to create one team which is looking at enterprise development, another team which is looking at securing finance for the women that will be working in that are working in the energy space. With all these opportunities coming, funding and the enterprise development is critical. Uh, we are working towards um, working together with financial institutions to make sure that they provide loans for women that are interested in taking up the economic opportunities in the energy space and that is going to dovetail with what we have learned here, the opportunities that we have identified here and we we'll make sure that we we'll work with them. I have already spoken to ABSA and ABSA is willing to also support us. We will be meeting with them in a week's time to then map out how they can support women-owned companies and youth-owned companies to take these opportunities that we have just learned about and also the companies that were here, we spoke to some of them, they want retailers for their products, so we will be mobilizing women to take advantage of those opportunities and also young people. We have just yet the skills roadmap, uh, we are going to also meet with Saratech so that they can train the women uh, to deploy the technologies. One of the women-owned companies was here, which is manufacturing solar uh, PVs that they can actually uh, sell to uh, households and they are quite reasonably priced, starting from something like a thousand. So we can light up everyone and women can do it. And we are looking forward to lighting up South Africa, lighting up SADAC lighting up sub-Saharan Africa and making sure that our children go to school when there's light, come back when there's light at home, thanks to solar power and storage battery. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.